Podcasting. Good morning, Mega Podlings. It's Crazy Joe. And I thought today I would give you a behind the scenes look at the space bar where we shoot most of my videos. Most of my videos are shot right here, but there's certain areas you don't see. You only kind of see, you know, what the camera catches. I thought I'd give you a tour of the entire space bar. But before we do that, let's take a walk over to this corner of the room. This is where the podcast is recorded. It's recorded at this desk here. So let me give you a, t a tour of the entire Megapodtastic Studios, including where we do the podcast and the space bar where you see most of my videos. All right, this is my desk. This is where I sit and record the podcast every week with Jacob right here on this iMac. Uh, that's my work laptop for my job. But this is what you don't usually see. Usually the, the webcam is aimed at me, so you see my face. But this is what I see when I'm recording the podcast. And my desk is a bit of a mess. It is littered with Funko Pops. So many Funko Pops. There's a Mr. T doll. There's a Han frozen and carbonite cell phone holder. I mean, so many things we got. But let's, ta let's take a look. Let's look at all the pictures here. There's, there's something I found on the internet and printed out. E equals MC squared. He equals fool I pity. I mean, who wouldn't want that? There's some Dave Perillo, She-Ra, and Hordax. Uh, that's an award Kira gave me for being the best dad. There's my autographed picture of Larry and Balky. Oh, Mr. T's over here in the corner. And there's my autographed Fred Rogers record. It's my family. Picture Kira did for me. I have a hero and I call him Daddy. Fred Rogers. The 1988 ALF calendar is framed. It's a Doctor Who clock. I think the batteries are dead. This clock doesn't even work. But it's still hanging there. Kira made me this. Kira made me this. And there's my autographed picture of the cast of Being Human. All of them were guests. Every one of them were guests on the original Megapodtastic podcast before we rebooted. And there's my pictures with Larry and Balky. Same day I got that autographed. So this is what I look at when I'm recording the Megapodtastic podcast. And if we go right over here... This is where I shoot the videos. Here's something you don't usually see on camera. Alf sits right there. Oh, look who it is. It's Super Chad Hippo. He's right there. Now, right now, I'm doing a puzzle. I love puzzles. So that is usually below the frame. You don't see the puzzle, but there is often a puzzle below the frame that you don't see. There's Marty the Robot, sent to me by Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie, my pet monster. An autographed Dan Aykroyd. Um, vodka bottle, and there's E.T. So that is what is going on at the front of the bar that you usually don't see. Now let's head on behind the bar. Here we are, behind the bar. Let's take a good look at everything. Okay, there's the surface of the bar as I see it. Again, the puzzle I'm working on, this one is Star Wars comic book covers. I just started, I'm not that far in it. But here's my menus. You've seen my menus before. The Quarks Bar menu. Super Chat Hippo's right there. And then we come down below the bar. And we have a lot of geeky tiki's. A lot of geeky tiki's. Mostly Star Wars and Star Trek. There's my Gorn geeky tiki. This is actually a replacement. Because the original Gorn geeky tiki... I gave as a gift to Adam the Woo. And if you saw his recent video where he showed his Gorn collection, the geeky tiki I gave him was there. So there's my Gorn Mego figure. And there's some, most of the things behind here, we call this the space bar because most of the things back here are space related. But every now and then we get something that's not space related, like the holiday Pez dog. It's one of the few things back here not space related. There's the Magatu, my favorite Star Trek alien of all time. There's a carded Lieutenant Ilea figure from the motion picture. There is a GameStop exclusive uh, R5-D4 and an autographed Alan Tudyk K2SO action figure. Now over here we've got the Mego Romulan Commander and some bootleg ET stickers that were given to me by, by my good friend Tony who runs RetroCon. Tony and his wife uh, Rose are the promoters of RetroCon. 
and these were a gift from them and I really appreciate it. And over here is my autographed Serenity poster. It's been signed by Jewel State, Adam Baldwin, the late Ron Glass, and um, Alan Tudyk. This is the, this, this room back here, this is where we keep our Christmas ornaments, by the way. That room's a mess. I'm not going to open the door, but I have this vintage Star Wars action figure poster on the door. Then we come around here. Here's what you kind of recognize, but you see that this is the Star Trek stamps from the post office. I got a framed picture of that. There's Mr. Shatner. And over here, we have my autographed picture of Carrie Fisher and my autographed picture of Patrick Stewart and Avery Brooks. There's the Kraft Star Trek V Marshmallow Dispenser and the Star Trek and Star Trek The Next Generation Pez Dispensers, but they're being, they're being kind of blocked by Tron figures, which, um, again, not space related, but it's sci-fi, so the Tron figures are there. And look, there's Bruce Boxleitner as Tron, and there's Bruce Boxleitner as Captain John Sheridan from Babylon 5. Boxleitner, Boxleitner. Box Lightner, Box Lightner. And there's some Funko Pops, Tron, Lando, Lobot, USS Reliant. It's the robot from Lost in Space, Bobblehead, Emerald Ackbar. That's an R2-D2 Bluetooth, so I can listen to music back here. Those are Hallmark ornaments of Picard and Data and a action figure of Miles O'Brien. That's the very same Gorn that you saw over here on the card but I have one opened up I have one opened up behind the bar and there he is and there is Wharf. there's the Wharf um, uh, cookie jar which I bought at uh, the oh what's the name of that where where Pam's place is located uh, I can't think of the name of the of the the indoor flea market where where Pam's movie video game dome is located, but but I bought that there. It was in one of my videos. If you look for that video, you can find the video where I bought Wharf. There's a Wharf, you know, uh, a doll in the back there. Battlestar Galactica on Beta. That's a Tron 2.0 figure. And there's our popcorn machine. And we come over here. And there's a cookie jar of the robot from Lost in Space. That's a VHS, a fake VHS of Star Wars that lights up that I got at a Monster Mania convention. It's a Star Trek phaser, a tankard. There's a Yoda puppet that I bought on one of my videos at the um, ZoloCon a couple years ago. It's an Ugnaught, a Star Wars Scotch tape dispenser, a Star Trek communicator. There's Star Trek 2, 4, and 5 all on beta. And all of them were gifts from Cinema Sickness. The Chewbacca Funko Pop in an ATST. And there's a Django Fett Christmas ornament. He's unfortunately missing a hand. There's my Billy D. Williams autograph and my William Shatner autograph. All right, now how about we take a look at these shelves? We'll see what's on these shelves. You see these shelves all the time from a distance. Let me show you what's on each one of these shelves. First shelf here, there is a Lando Calrissian cup from Star Wars, a Stolo, Solo, Solo, a Star Wars story. This was given out by Denny's. It's a Denny's cup there. Uh, there's an Alf keychain, a couple different ET Pez dispensers. That is the bridge of the USS Swine Trek from The Muppet Show. This was a gift from my friend Paul Poole. Thank you, Paul. I do love this. And, but now, now these three figures were from the Muppet Show toy line by Palisades. They actually go with this set. These two, Sam Eagle is a Jedi and uh, Gonzo is Darth Nader. They were not from that set. They were actually sold in Disney World. But I stuck them there because they fit. Especially Darth Nader because he actually did appear on a segment of Pigs in Space. Um, Sam Eagle is a Jedi. Never was on Pigs in Space, but... You know, I put them there. There's an elf, little elf figure. There's, this is weird. It's an Han bobblehead in the Millennium Falcon. And if you look over here, we've got Luke in an X-Wing. Uh, they were given to me by my uh, in-laws, my, my father-in-law, my mother-in-law. Uh, they gave me a Christmas gift one year, and those were affixed to it. So I put them 
at the bar. Now we'll go up here, and here we have the Playmates Star Trek figures. Mostly the original series, The Next Generation, and Deep Space Nine. There's a couple Voyager figures in there, but uh, if you look in the back, you'll see the Borg Queen. You'll see just a Borg Soldier, Guinan. Yeah, and, and they're kind of grouped by the series. Like over here, we've got The Next Generation. And then it kind of segues into Deep Space Nine. You'll notice Worf is kind of the segue because he was on both. So you can look at it. There's the Next Generation crew, but then you can reframe it. And Worf is with the DS9 crew. So, uh, and that, that's the same Chief O'Brien figure that you saw down here. I have two of those. So one of them's down here. And one of them is up here with the Star Trek figures. But yeah, now we got the, the DS9 crew. Um, later on, I got some Voyager figures. Uh, specifically, Neelix, Seven of Nine, and Bellana Torres. So they're just kind of thrown in. They're kind of, they're, they don't really match the theme. But before Neelix, Seven, and Bellana were there, you could have the whole Next Generation crew and then slowly segue into the original series. Um, and there's Bellana Torres on the end. And there's an original series Klingon. If you look in the back, you'll see some of the movie versions of these guys. There's the movie versions of Spock, Scotty, Kirk, and McCoy. There's the Gorn. All right, now let's go up to the top shelf. That is an R2-D2 cookie jar. That was sold through, um, oh, geez, a breakfast co uh, company. No, or was it Frito-Lay? I don't know. It was a giveaway. It was a mail-away. I think it was cookies. I think it was like Nabisco cookies. You had to send in proofs of purchase for Nabisco cookies. And it was when Revenge of the Sith came out. And I, I got that and uh, C-3PO. Both of those open up. You, they're made of plastic, but they're considered cookie jars. You can put stuff in them. So that's what they came from. And then we got R2, Funko Pop, uh, the Mystic from Dark Crystal. It's a little wind-up robot. Stormtrooper mug, Star Trek Itty Bitties. That's from the Invasion of the Saucer Men. It's a Funko Pop, not a Funko, a Funko Wacky Wobbler. There's a Boba Fett helmet. Kira from the Dark Crystal. Vincent from the Black Hole, Funko Pop. There is a Jem Hadar doll from Deep Space Nine, a Skeksy from the Dark Crystal, and Gort from the Day the Earth Stood Still. Let's move over to this end. And you see this Hallmark Enterprise. That's from Hallmark. And behind it is a Captain Kirk doll, Captain Kirk Wacky Wobbler. There is an alien reaction figure. Benjamin Sisko, E.T. Glass, an E.T. Funko Pop, an alien xenomorph Funko Pop, Spock, and an Andorian Wacky Wobblers. In the back there, you'll see there's another Kirk and Spock action figure, dolls of O'Brien and Geordi and Picard. There's a Wacky Wobbler of Robbie the Robot from Forbidden Planet. It's a Klingon bird of prey. It's a wacky wobbler of the Gorn. Funko Pops of the Lost in Space robot and Robbie the robot. A Funko Pop of an Andorian. And this is the crystal from Superman the movie. The crystal that made the Fortress of Solitude. Uh, I picked this up at Dragon Con this year. And if you look at my Dragon Con shenanigans video, I believe you can see when I bought that. And here we get to my Black Series Star Wars figures. Uh, these used to be kind of grouped into good guys and bad guys. I had the good guys on one shelf and the bad guys below them. But it kind of got a little, uh, you know, there's too many figures. <laughs> what can I say? There's too many figures. Uh, I believe that one right there is Finn as a Stormtrooper. I believe that's the, the Finn that's helmet comes off. Uh, I can't really get in there to check. But I believe his helmet comes off and there's Finn underneath. And there's regular Finn. There's Ahsoka Tano in the back. Maz Kanata. There's Donald Glover as, as Lando. I've also got Billy Dee Williams as Lando. Uh, if you look in the front row, there's the Mandalorian from the TV show, The Mandalorian K2SO from, from um, Rogue One. Oh, no, no, no. That's the Finn. That's the Finn figure. He's got the, the blood on him. 
Admiral Akbar, Constable Zuvio. Now, if we look in the front row here, I recently did a video called What's in the Box, and I opened up a box of things that used to be on my desk, and these Builder Droids from Disney World, that's not a Builder Droid, that's a Black Series, but these Builder Droids from Disney World were in it, and they ended up on the shelf. Again, that's the same R5-D4 that is in the package over here. I've got two of those. I opened one up and I kept one sealed. All right, let's go down the road. Those were mostly the good guys. Of course, there's a couple stormtroopers in there. But those were mostly the good guys. When we get down to the next level, we got the villains. There's, that's Darth Raven, who was given to me by my friends at what used to be called Action Figure Junkies. They're now called Total Toy Recon, but that was a gift from them and I appreciate it. You see Boba Fett, there's IG-88, Zuckus, Bosk, Forlom, Dengar, there's Vader, Thrawn, Gamian Guard, Death Trooper, there you go. And I put Kira with Darth Maul, even though I don't know, can, can, is Kira really one of the bad guys? I don't know, but I put her with Darth Maul because of, well, the way the movie went. And there's Zero from The Mandalorian in a Funko Pop. I really want to get a figure of him, but they don't make one yet. There's Jango Fett. All right, let's go down another row. That's my autographed Spaceballs DVD. It's signed by Tim Russ, who played um, Tuvok on Star Trek Voyager. He was one of the guys combing the desert, and he signed it to Crazy Joe. We ain't found shit. Tim Russ. So there's my space balls there's a bottle of romulan ale from the old star trek experience in vegas there's an id4 independence day alien there's a data mug spock mug funko papa java these are the giveaways from burger king for the 2009 star trek movie and they all talk they all have a button and they talk I won't make all of them talk, but this is a good one. I'm a doctor, not a physicist. <laughs> There's Jayla from Star Trek Beyond, Geordie. There's a Captain Kirk mug and Data Funko Pop. There's Crow and Tom Servo from Mystery Science Theater 3000. This is another gift from my friend Tony. It's a bootleg E.T. figure, the visitor from outer space. I love that. That is a Star Trek II DVD signed by Ricardo Montalban. It's another star, uh, Romulan Ale bottle. And this is a talking Enterprise. Let's see, from Star Trek II. Ooh, we get to hear Mel Khan. So there you go. That is the space bar behind the scenes. Oh, I didn't show you that we got mugs up here too. Most of them are Christmas mugs. That's where we start our Christmas mugs. There's some Star Wars mugs up there too. But uh, that is the behind the scenes of the space bar. Obviously, I do all my videos from here at the space bar. Most of my videos. Most of my videos that are shot in the house are done here. If I'm out and about, obviously not. But um, now you get to see what's actually back here. Keep wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas with the plastic feet. Keep wearing those pajamas. Tell everyone to me. Keep wearing those pajamas with the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas. Don't open it to trap. Oh, it's a trap. Some people call them bitches. Some people call them jammies. They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies. They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas. But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now we're having fun. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now the song is done.